Hello, sir. Chick or treat. Hi, Andy. What's going on? I'm trick or treating right now. My name is Leia, Princess Leia. Why are you talking in a British accent? Don't worry about that, sir. I'm Princess Leia. I'm here from the Rebellion, and I'd I'd like some candy for Halloween for trick or treat. Oh, what kind of candy is your favorite? That's my problem, sir. Is I can't decide. If only you could maybe provide me with the top ten list of all my favorite candies. Oh, I can help you out with that. Do you wanna you wanna come inside? No, I'll, I'll stand out here. I can. I you can. I can stand out from here and watch you in there. Just come in, man. You can take that costume off and get comfortable. Come inside. Just show me the list from out there. It's fine, sir. You can come inside real quick and maybe never leave. Got a nice warm couch and a little bit of brandy My for mom's you. outside, okay, dude? Welcome back, everyone. I'm Nick. I'm Andy. And you're watching KFAF. Surprisingly, I was like, oh, okay, that's the first joke we did. And then I went to look as I edited that last night. I was like, oh, what was the other joke that we did? Yeah. No other joke. Just just creepy old man yep. jokes. Yeah. We, what's, what's, and this is what's concerning right. for me, is that you, when you came to this company, like five years ago, how long you been working here? Two years? Three years? Uh, seven. Seventeen years. Seven decades. Uh, you were like, dude, I don't. I just like I'm pure as as Wonder Bread, mm -hmm. and now you leaned into that. I, I was did, like, you want to yeah. come in? You're like, no. And I'm like, uh oh. Uh, okay. This is where the joke's this going. Is where it's going. <laughs> I didn't know. Sometimes you know where the joke is, it's ladies fine, and gentlemen. And sometimes you just got to discover it's fine. it. And sometimes you got to rank Halloween candy. We do indeed, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, before we do that, of course, I want to thank our Patreon producers, Al the Hunter Predator Tribesman. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Okay. Yes. Jaws. Yes. He's Jaws now. Yes. <laughs> There and of go. course, David the Mind Freak, Mind Tell. Straight magic. Ooh. Wow. Mind Freak. That was like a really mysterious chord. Right? Oh, you just found a clue. You just oh, found a clue. Do it man. again, do it again. You just found a clue. Where's blue? It's a Coke Zero. Oh! <laughs> I'll pop it right now. Oh. Uh, okay. Of course, if you guys want to be a part of the show, go over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny and back us at the fan mail tier or above. No, back us at the bronze tier or above. Uh, if you are the fan mail tier, by the way, boom, you get this shirt in a month or two to celebrate. The ninth movie in the Star Wars trilogy, excuse me, the ninth movie in the Skywalker oh, saga. saga. Yeah. Uh, that's what this shirt is, of course. It's uh, kind of funny, the sirens are on, and Andy nailed it, I nailed it, everyone nailed it. Um, real quick, if you guys are gonna be in Toronto this weekend, come join me, Andy, and Greg over at EGLX. Uh, we're gonna be doing three, two panels and uh, meet and greet slash signing thing inside of the convention hall. And of course, I think we're gonna jump on like Bruce's, uh, Bruce Green's gonna be there, we're gonna jump on a couple of his panels probably, and Elise and James from uh, Funhouse are gonna be there, we'll probably do some stuff with them as well. Check out kindoffunny.com slash events for those full details. Andy, are you ready? I just, like, when you were talking Star Wars, I wanted to be the backing track. Oh, I see. But I just couldn't get it ready, dude. No, I understand. Because half of my mind wanted to go. That's, fi that's fine, too. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> so the noise Remember he makes. does that? Yeah. I was playing that, uh, I played that all weekend, and my wife was like, that's like the most adorable thing. I was like, it's adorable until you drown for the 50th time, yeah. and then you want to fucking just strangle this little the, kid. Cute game, though. Cute game. Yeah. Beat it. Beat it last weekend. Whoa! Fun. Look at this video game player! Really well done. Really What's, your well done. What's your review? What's my, I thought it was great. Yeah? Honestly, yeah, it was really, really fun. That's my perfect kind of game. How do you rate it out of 60? Out of 60? Yeah. Ooh, good question. Uh, 51.75. Nice. Yeah, wow. yeah. Not a perfect game. Not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination, but but really, really kept me going. Because uh, normally I lose focus with games mm. like that. I'm just yeah. like, I don't want to play. Like Breath of the Wild was a beautiful game. I, I, one of the best games ever made, but so long that I was like, I don't know if I really want to put this much effort. I don't know if I have it in me. This yeah. game, super self-contained. I mean, what, like 10 hours maybe you can beat it in, yeah. if not less. It took me a little longer because I was like, I want to find. I do the thing it where I'm like, I want time. the Master Sword immediately. Mm. Mm. So instead of doing all this stuff, I just go and look for all the seashells and then find it and then get it and it's not worth it. Yeah, yeah it wasn't worth it for me. Um, but I didn't get all of them, I didn't get all 50. Uh, which is ridiculous. Well, so how do you grade it on like the metric? On the metric scale, scale uh, uh, 8.5 pounds. Wow, okay. Yeah, out of 10. Cool. You ready to rank some candy? I'm ready for it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do All it. All right, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, here, I'm getting ahead of this preemptively because I know what a lot of you guys are going to say. Nick, where's this candy? Nick, where's this candy? Nick, you didn't get this obscure candy from my youth. We are ranking Halloween candy, meaning I, I found every single type of candy I could find in the snack bundle in the Halloween aisle of the Target. 
I asked her, I was like, do, do any of these bundles have mounds in them? Because I know Greg likes mounds. And she goes, no, but they have mounds upstairs in the candy aisle. I'm like, that's the normal candy aisle. If we were ranking normal candy, everyday candy, I'd go up there. Yeah. This was just me laying out every single bag possible on the ground at Target this morning. And shout out to the best friend that said what's up to me. Uh, I laid them all out to figure out which candy I was missing and which one I can consolidate to. And one person that worked at Target came over and thought I was crazy. She was like, what are you doing? <laughs> you and I was, like, I was like, I'm ranking candy. She's like, I'm going to walk away now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to walk away You're now. You're super crazy, yeah. And no, so there's no apples, no peanuts? No, 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 no. I didn't get any of that stuff. Great. That's bullshit. Because I, I remember like, oh my gosh, doing, uh, trick-or-treating back in the RGV right. uh, in the Rio Grande Valley, the amount of times where there would either be peanuts involved or... Kevin, let me know if you remember this candy, because it may just be a, a, a Mexican-American American thing. They were called Tomis, and it was a little candy with like a white wrapper and a little bear on it, a little tan-looking bear. Ring a bell? No, no. it's not in any bells That's weird. I just, we would always get these Tomi candy. It was basically just like caramel, it felt like, and I was like, these candies suck! Give me a goddamn little bag of M&Ms! So, I per so here's the thing, I got a smattering of candies that I personally love, Candies that I know other people like that I don't like that much, and candies that I want to see your reactions to. Okay. They're all not, nothing's bad. It's just like I want to know how you feel about certain candies versus okay. others. There's way more than ten, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out each bag, and we're gonna pull out a couple of you. Want to show the audience? Bring this, this up, Tommy's yeah. El Clasico. Here are, the, here are the Tommy's El Clasico. Tommy's El Clasico. Gosh, I hated these fucking candies. Oh, they're butterscotch. I see. No, oh, that's not bad. It's just like the amount. I just wanted like the, you know, you would always go to like, oh, let's go to the rich neighborhoods because yeah. they have like the full size ones. Oh man, or whatever. that was the best. Yeah, right, Kevin. Yeah, the Adventure, rich neighborhoods adventuring were so over good. there. It was very, it was, it was risky. I felt like I was robbing them. Yeah, my, yeah, my thing yeah, is always yeah. this. I always want to give a shout out to the people who went all in on one candy. Mm. You know, it's always it's a, it's a, you're taking a risk because not every kid's gonna love the peanut butter cups. But if I go to your house when I was a kid and you brought out just Reese's peanut butter cups, I for sure was not gonna shit on your lawn. Oh, of course not. No, you no, weren't no. getting anything, man. In fact, Why? if you had How nothing but peanut butter, I mean, <laughs> there was a couple. <laughs> You'd be surprised, times. Kevin. There was a couple times, but uh, I'm just saying, if you have nothing, if 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 you if I go to your house, and you got all peanut butter cups. Your aces in my book. Kevin, Racism. when you're walking outside, tread lightly. Is all, I always did. Is all we'll say. We, we, if well, you we, smell dog shit and it smells like Taco Bell. No. God, <laughs> oh, God. No. This guy. Man, what is wrong with you? This guy. This okay, let's dog. get into the candy. What's wrong with me? You're the one that started the joke at the front door. <laughs> 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 He's psychopath. All right, here's what. Let's, let's fire this up. Uh, okay, this is a good first bundle to start are, with. Are we running the graphic? Oh, yeah, let's run the graphic. Oh, yeah, let's run the graphic. Sorry. Did you know it's almost Halloween? In a couple of weeks, it'll be Halloween. Didn't try that hard on that one, huh? We rank candy with Nick and Andy. <laughs> oh, careful! <laughs> Whoa, watch out. What's, <laughs> that's crazy. You picked the perfect, perfect pumpkins there. Yeah. We should carve pumpkins one day. Uh, all oh, right. right. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. Yeah. Hi. We're going to start with this first bundle. Now, this is a good bundle here. Oh, god! I would say this is like god tier bundle. We got some classics in here. We got the Reese's, we got the uh, the Almond Joys, which I like, the Kit Kats, which we know we love here in this office, and oh, then yeah. of course, just the normal Hershey's chocolate bar, which I was a huge fan of when I was a kid. I would hold it in my Hate palm them. to get it to melt a little bit, and then slide the whole thing yeah. in my mouth. Just what the like a dollar fuck, bill? Dude. Like a chocolate bill? Yeah, like a chocolate dollar, yeah, dollar so bill. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what's going first on the list for me right now, if you have them. We should probably open the bags underneath just so it's not so cracked. Oh, there's only like four bags. Oh, okay. And it's um, too late. We're already halfway through the show. Yeah. Um, I would say that... Um, oh, smell it. God, that smells like that's good old fashioned that's a Halloween. That's mix. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know no. I mean? oh, oh, my God. Too no. horny, man. That's um, crazy. Those what's I, what was I going to say? Um, I feel like... Uh, did you buy, by any chance buy any dots? There are dots in there. That's the bag that I feel like is going to be controversial. Dots, to me, are so Halloween because... I would never, ever, in my right mind, ever eat a dot That's outside of Halloween time. First off, look at this bag. But when I'm visiting Halloween town during Halloween time, I want a damn dot. This right? is the bag is that? that if you only had this candy, you're getting a fucking hot, steamy load on your on your lawn. Look at this. This has dots. Why? What? What do you mean? Weird ass fruit chews. Oh, they were so good. Pulled your fillings out. They were the yeah. fruit and tootsie then, rolls. Yeah, and then so the good. tootsie rolls, which yeah, I'm okay dude. with the tootsie roll. But then they have the big tootsie roll, oh, that, the that big one. ass tootsie roll. That's like it's too much tootsie roll. 
Small tits you roll fine. Long tits you roll, you you can smoke it. It's kind of cool. You can pretend like you're a, a good smoker. Yeah. The big tits you roll, like, it's too much. It looks like a dog poop. Do you want to start with this one? Yeah, because I. Let's rain candy. We rain candy. All right, we'll start with this. I'm in a great why. mood. I don't know why oh my god, see this is how much they don't want you to get into this. <laughs> this is, look at the thickness in plastic between this and that. They're like, if you get, this might kill a kid. This is bulletproof glass Jesus right here. Christ, in, like front a, of the, in front of the safe. Oh, uh, be a big guy. This oh wow, This is a 10 foot thick wall. Up. All right, you want to go over for some dots? Uh, no, I want to save them for, for a bit low. Like, th there's too much variety in here. Too much. We can't go through all of these. No, that's what I'm saying. So, I say dots and tootsie rolls out of this one. Because these chewies, go fuck yourself. I mean, just for, for scientific sake. But it says, they say Tootsie on there. Yeah, they're a Tootsie Chew. They are Tootsie Fruit And I'm not, the vanilla fruit is not terrible, but. Hey, oh no, it's gross. What are you talking about? Is the it disgusting? The vanilla one's terrible. Yeah. The apple yeah. one, telling you, green flavored thing. What is lemon fruit roll? Lemon? I don't like any of these. So, really I'm good. eating the apple one just for, like, experimentation. Right, Kevin? You right. need the Pythagorean theorem. Oh, no, no. PEMDAS. PEMDAS. Uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What do you want? You want an apple one, Kevin? Yeah! The apple one is one of my favorite Tootsie Rolls of all it. time. Uh, Fucking nailed that. Nailed God it. God damn it, I nailed that. But the thing is, I, like, I couldn't even... I feel like if we were to rank the Tootsie Rolls, the chocolate one is its own, and the fruit ones all come together. That's up to yeah, you. Yeah. We have yeah, a lot, we have grouping. approximately 300 candies in here. They're so a grouping. We don't need to rank but them, God but I will damn. say this. The apple one is so good. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, the Tootsie Roll, it's, it's a, just fun to eat. It's, it's a, a classic, classic man. Yeah. It's fun to eat. Oh my god, the green apple is so good. Well, this one, not so much, but the Tootsie Roll is great. What about these dots? The dots get ranked alone. And. Why? Do you, why? They don't we're not going to have a separate, we're not going to have an asterisk with a separate list for the dots. The, the, the dots are on their own. What are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? I don't know what the dots are on their own mean. They're their own. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some dots, man. I fucking love dots, dude. No. Tasteless, bland, useless. Going at number 10 for me. No, you're fucking dumb, dude. Because the thing is, where yeah. do we rank dots? Oh, I love them. I love them too, but like, I feel like I have to drink them with, like, eat them with a Coke. <laughs> with a Coke. That's, that's, that's just how I've always done it. Wait, hold on, Kevin. Because the gunkiness gets, like, mixed in with the Coke. Let me see, let me see. I didn't say Coke Zero. It's so good. Mm. Like they're so plain, but so it does good. pair well with the soda. Yeah. <laughs> so here, here, here's going to be a little higher on my list with the soda. Here's going to be my reasoning of why I think it should be lower on the list, or maybe not on the list. Because I don't consider you have a memory of dots being a Halloween candy. Dots to me are not a Halloween candy. What? This is a movie theater candy for me. Oh, uh, interesting. No, that's more like a Mike and Ike for me. Mm. Interesting. See, Mike and Ikes and like the Junior Mints and all that stuff. Those are always more like that mm. for me. This was always the thing that I was like. If I'm desperate, mm. as a young fat child, like as a very overweight child, I was like, if I'm desperate, I'll go to the dot. Just let me Yo, try shout out to Mike and Ike. Just try a little bit more. That, that's the thing. Like I always felt like in my world, the way candies were broken down was like the ones that you would eat in the first month, then the ones you would eat in mm -hmm. month three, and then you had the like this is like this is your only option. This has to last and, me from June to October. And dots would always fall in that category. And it was bad because th by the time you get around to them, they were rock hard. Oh, rock Just hard. Rock but hard. But again, that's where a good Coke would break them down. That's fair. You know what? Yeah. We gotta rank uh, Jelly Bellies soon. Okay, I was thinking cool. about all good the note. flavors of that, man. Good note. Yeah. Where are we putting the dots, you fucking monster? The dots go at number one for me. You're crazy, man. Over Tootsie Rolls? Yeah. No, single hole in the room. No. You're over a standard Tootsie, tootsie Rolls. Roll. Put them at number two. I, easily number two. That's I didn't know this was a, a democracy. I thought it was just me and Nick. Why are they getting votes? Well, because I wanted to, to put it Because in there's only two of you, and we got to break the ties. It's true. We do have to break the ties and the chains. I thought Nick got an extra vote. It's true. Ty what, goes to the host. What song are we doing? And if you can love oh, me yeah. now, then you'll never love keep going, keep me going. again. All right, let's get over that. Um, all right, let's go back to the goat. This to me, God tier back. Now I'll pull it out. Let's start this. Let's oh. let's let's do away with this charade, ladies and gentlemen. This facade. These are number one, with a fucking silver bullet. Why are we eating them right now, then? 
Because I want to put him. I want to see if anything can dethrone the king. Not a chance. No fucking chance. Actually, do we I even do have try him? I do have a nominee that will all right. likely beat the Reese's Peanut I'm just, I'm just scooching. God, man. I love these damn dogs, man. By the way, I ate so many of these yesterday because I went shopping for something else like pumpkins and I found these and I was like, oh, I'm going to have some. And I just ate like 14 in my car. Jesus. Number one. Now, here, here's, here's going to be a polarizing one. The oh, almond, yeah. The oh, bite sized oh, almond joy. Love, love it. I love them. I love them. Love them, Let's try them. Love them. That system very uh, very much scares me. So you really put Reese's at number one, just that quickly? Do you not want to? Do you want to try a Reese's peanut butter cup real quick and tell me if you're out of your like it's changed because they're still beautiful and oh, sweet. Yeah, it, so you're right. Fun. I had like seven it's yesterday. So we ate good, a yeah. lot of them. I had so many yesterday. Um, all right, almond joys. I love the oh. almond joys. I mean, I what love can you say? Almond joys. The almond in it is just it's a party. You know why it's good, Kevin? Because uh -huh. it's healthy. Yeah. The almond good fats in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get coconut also good fat. Coconut. Oil. This might be the healthiest thing you could possibly put in your body. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, for me, these are number one. Really? Yeah. This you is put this over a Reese's? Uh huh. This is number four for me. I can't put this over a Reese's, but I will put this over the Tootsie Roll and the Dots. All right, that's fair. What do you so think? So will I. I, I would put this underneath a, a Reese's peanut butter cup. All right. Because I'll tell you what, even though I have. Well, put it on the board. A Reese's butter cup. Yeah, you wanna. Uh, even though we <laughs> I have. Hate it. <laughs> wrap I gotta find another one. <laughs> I almost. I thought we ran out for a second. I was like, oh shit, that would suck. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Reese's butter, peanut butter cup really reminds me of a Lunchable, a turkey and American Lunchable. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I wish they came with almond joys. Well, the good. thing about it is, the thing about the Reese's peanut butter cup, is that, of all the candies we're gonna pull out, with the rare exception of a couple that we'll get to in a second, but like most of these candies, I only really give a shit about during Halloween because they're in my <laughs> peripherals. This bad boy, I think about at least once a week. Yeah. I walk by the thing and I go, not today, so not I. today, but soon. You so know, like we'll come back to each other one day. Yeah. And every once in a while, when, when uh, Uncle tell. Nick needs some goldfish crackers and a little something sweet afterward, king size Reese's it, peanut butter it's cup. It's like uh, Ethan Hunt when he's like him and his wife. I've Ethan Hunt. They just look at each other from distances. And they know. They're four miles away. They're yeah. looking at each other like. We're gonna fuck one day. Yeah, we're gonna fuck. Yeah, we're gonna fuck. Uh, one day. Kevin, yeah, eating an almond joy. You you mentioned a party. It reminds me of like we're we're eating the chocolate. We're eating the coconut. And we're partying all night, right? And then when you get to the when you get to the almond, Kevin, it's like when your friend brings pizza yeah, at the end of the night. Yep. You know, like everybody's kind of drunk. You're like, oh, I'm gonna be super hungover. And suddenly, dude walks in the door with two large pepperoni de pomsiac pizzas. Yeah. We follow the pepperoni de pomsiac, and and it just it it just evens everything up. To wow. me, it's like when you That's you so go, good. I'm gonna eat this pizza. But I'm gonna have a little bit of the salad beforehand so I can feel better about myself. Mm. And that enables me to have 15 to 16 more slices <laughs> yeah. of pizza. Yeah, same thing. You know I mean, I'm like, well, I ate a salad. That's how that I was. Healthy yeah. for me. I would eat flaming hot fries and flaming hot Cheetos, but then I would top it off with an Arizona green tea. Yeah. Because all the minerals and, and safe vitamins. You guys, I gotta be honest with you, the Kit Kat falling lower on my This rating. is what I'm gonna say, man. I would the, put Kit the Kit Kat after up next the to the Kit Kat. Give me the one. There you, it is. you may have seen an episode a few weeks ago. You did. did, and I tell you, I haven't had an American Kit Kat in a while. When I did, I'm like, I don't, I don't love them that much. Not my favorite candy. Now the mini white Kit Kats, that's different. But again, not that's a Halloween gross. candy. Yeah, I would put this at number five. Yeah, Whoa. you're crazy, man. Yeah, I would put this no, at number five. Where, where are you coming in, Barry? Over dots for sure. This is two or three for me. I think I'd put it at at number four. Personally, but personally. again, we're getting into in review territory. We're getting into in review territory where. Where do you want to put it? I don't think it's as good as a dot, but I think it's better than a tootsie roll. We're getting into that weird sort of. We can. I mean, again, in review is a broken system. You're right. No. We run things in this town. Yeah. We're gonna run this town tonight. And bon, today. Bon Jovi. And, yeah, Bon Jovi. We can take the tootsie roll and put it at number five, and put Kit Kat at number three. Let's like do that. that. Let's do, you that. do that. I love that. I love that decision. Boom. Fuck you, tootsie roll. I love that. I loved you before. I don't love hey, you anymore. Tootsie roll. Tootsie Roll! This ain't a some wrong! Tootsie Roll! Oh, you went Michael McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you went Michael McDonald. All right, here's next. Uh, let's see. The Hershey's uh, chocolate bar. Put it at the bottom. I don't fucking want it. You I don't even want to try it. You don't even want to try you it? You take a bite. I, I had like one like yesterday and it's split. like it's, fine. it's the most boring part of it's any so candy. It's like it's cho it's chocolate that we expect. And that's yeah. it. There's no there's no there's no party that goes along with it. Do you want to not even put it on the list? We can just ix, we can nix it right now. Put it number nine. Put it number nine. Yeah. See how we feel you didn't later. Even try it. You didn't even try it. We don't need to. This system is rigged from the beginning. Is our sky cam moment. working? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've cool. He's been going to. Oh, tight. Okay. I'm gonna try it. I'll be the final judge on this. Go ahead. I mean, just, remember, I gotta I gotta warm it up. Oh God, that's so that's gross. Weird. That's really weird. Whenever I, 
I feel like the history of the you know what? Hershey's gives it extra point. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put one in my pocket. We're gonna try it right no, at the end. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. Cool. That's cool. too melty. It's gonna be all my, melty. My Ew. problem with the Hershey's is um, it reminds me of when, um, it's, you know? <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Good job, Andy. It's not, it's not, again, it's not a Halloween candy to me. That, that is a s'mores chocolate no, to see, me right there. For me, it's one of the, the like, three month tier, like, I have it now and it's better than dots. So. I, I, I caught my chain of thought, Kevin. It's like when you're eating nuggets and every once in a while you get a surprise and the surprise in the nugget might be a little onion ring, right? Or something like yeah, that. Mm. And those are the nuts. And that's the peanut butter. And th that's what the other candies have. The Hershey's is just the nuggets. <laughs> mm. Now. I'm gonna bring up this next one, and I'm gonna immediately want this off the list. No! The Heath bar. No! Trash. No! Throw it away. Why are you holding it back? It's too hard. After Heath Ledger! What? To to commemorate him. Why did you have to bring Heath Ledger into this? Because! Why? Number one. Every time I think I wanna throw this out, you bring it right back in. I know, dude. With Dark Knight. I love Heath. Alright, try it. I love Heath. I love no Toffee. Way. I love toffee, Kevin. Does it have toffee in it? I don't yes. even remember what it has in it. It's a, it's a toffee little thing, Kevin. It's a party that I don't want to go to. Really? Whoa, okay. Yeah, and I'm Kevin loves every party. That's true. I saw him go to a fucking tax party one time. Oh like, my you guys god, yeah. Taxes? I love the toffee. Hold on, hold on. Now, on top of ice cream, yes, but by itself, we'll see. Take a little bite. I don't like that your, your teeth goes, like right at the beginning, your teeth goes, oh, this is going to be chewy, yeah. and then it hits hard. Yeah. That always, but oh, it's a mixture I'd of like, both. I'm going to break my, my, uh, my eye tooth. What are these? My wolf tooth? Yeah, canines. Um, no, it's a dog. I don't think that's what it's called. Come on, baby. Kevin, give me the one, please. Listen, I'm a man that's usually right. Not true. Usually right. No. Some would say I have a track record, 10 for 10, 100%. No right. one's speaking the truth. But on the rare, the rare instance that I'm wrong, I will admit it. And motherfucker, this is good. I know! This is really good. I know! God, this is really good. I love good. Heath Bar. Why are these so good? This Have I never had one of these before? <laughs> <laughs> the sugar's hit my bloodstream. I'm enjoying it. Let's get some Mountain Dew. Let's go. Let's have a full on kid fucking Dude, party. I love this damn. Uh, and by the way, no, Mountain Dew, where are you at? Mountain Dew was supposed to send us jackets. Mountain Dew was supposed to send us their new flavor that's like pineapple mixture. Oh. Ew, gross. What happened? Wow. Anyway, Heath Bar. going to number like two for me. Wow, real wow. He's a number I would go number Wow, Kevin. I would go number two as well. You wanna go number wow. two? Oh. Yeah. yeah. These are I, I misjudged you. Yes, you did. You know what it is? It's be, and here's here's what I just realized. It's milk chocolate and English toffee. And you know I love London. Oh, you love London. I love London. Um, it, there's a really cool thing you can do. When we did the ice cream sundae episode where we made ice cream sundaes Shit. or banana splits, there's a giant bag you can buy that is only Heath. Heath bars yeah. all crunched up. I dropped a candy. Um, it's like a big, it's almost like you buy a big bag of confetti, mm -hmm. but it's just all Heath chocolate, little bits, little bits and crumbs. That's tasty. And it, you just, it, oh, there's a hair on it. Just, just take it off, it off and eat it. Just pull it off, pull it off, you're fine. It's probably, it looks like one of mine, you're fine. <laughs> it's not coming off. I'm not gonna yeah, take it's a risk. one up next, don't I'm not Next gonna, up, I'm not gonna take a now, risk. I go back and forth on these. I hate these. Because sometimes they're just so good, and sometimes they're just too hard. Yeah. The Rolo. Oh the yeah, these are always, th there's a lot going on with the Rolo. Here we go, let's try these. I should have just made a really quick interstitial for the <laughs> we rain candy, and then like that, just that graphic only, like a separate thing. For like every time we rank one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just play it, don't worry about it. Now I like the individually wrapped ones. I don't like the Rolos where it's like, you open it up and the, the Rolo itself is wrapped. I don't like that shit. Sorry, I, like I know I just concentrated myself. I like that these aren't the individually wrapped. Oh, gotcha. That's what I meant, excuse me. My, my problem with these is that these look like just chocolate dots. Yeah, but that's why they're better. What are they filled with? Just put it in your mouth and you see. Oh, gross. Caramel, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. No, 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 don't spit it. Oh, no, God. Andy, stop! We asked you to stop spitting things up. You're not gonna finish that? Nick, can I get one of those bad boys? I don't like it. It's for you, buddy. I don't like it. You don't like, here. You don't like the Rolos? No, man. I love the Rolos. Do you want to put the ugly Rolo? No, don't. I want no, you never to show me that away. thing ever throw again. Throw it away. That looks Use like, a, little that looks like a little as a chihuahua's can. turd. Use your little pail as a, there it is. Yep, put it in the Oh, yeah. yeah no, no, don't, don't do that, because we're going we're gonna to put candy in that later. Here, uh, let's empty one of these out. We'll put them in there. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's real good. 
God, you bought so much candy. We got a lot of we candy. We have too many. There it is. Where do you want to put the Rolo? I would put Rolo. Dead last? Dead last. Dead last? Yeah. What are you feeling, Nick? I don't think it goes. I mean, I, the dots are what's throwing me off here. But I think the Rolos are better than the Tootsie Rolls. I think you're just racist against gummy sweets. First man. off, not possible to be racist against candies. It's true. That's I, not possible. That's, he's, he's making a really you sure valid about that? point. Uh, yeah. Damn. It's possible to be racist with candy. I thought I had you. But not oh, against sure. candy. Oh, sure. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Here's the thing. The the giant Tootsie Roll thing right there, it's a hassle to eat, but like in a fun way. Mm. It's a chore to me. It, yeah, but I honestly. like it. I like it. It's a workout for your mouth. It's like it swiffing. It really is. It really is. I would put the Rolo above the dots. I would like to put it above the dots as well. But I also respect you. And life is about compromise, and a good relationship is about compromise. So we're going to put the Rolos right above the dots. <laughs> I knew I couldn't trust yeah, you. Yeah, I'm an I asshole. I knew I couldn't trust you. I'm an you. asshole. God damn it. Uh, watch out, they're rolling away. I th- I, <laughs> they're rolling away. I, I thought you were going to say, like, and you also kind of were going to fuck me on the Heath until you trusted me and then took a bite and were like, Andy, you were right. Well, I gave you the Heath, so the dots like, are Like, give me the down. benefit of the doubt, you know? The dots are terrible. Ty goes to the base runner. Ty goes to the host, we've already established that, uh, and the driver. If I'm driving a car, Ty goes to me. Damn. Now, here's, here's a bag that I, Whoa. I don't care about. Whoa. Jolly Ranchers, which are terrible, what? But the Twizzlers. What? Are you kidding? The watermelon from Jolly Rancher is amazing. Oh, it's not a candy. It's uh, a you suck on it. Yeah, like a no. lollipop. But if I can't eat the, the whole thing in like five seconds or less, it's not a Halloween. That's candy. a you problem, bro. Andy, thank you, Nick. I mean, don't you plan on sucking down that chocolate that's in your pocket right now? Or in five minutes, yeah, and thank you for Why me. five <laughs> extra minutes? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you want to go Your pants are going to be ruined. What do you want? You want to try a Jolly Rancher, or should we just get no, those? They're too hard to, to eat. What about the Twizzlers? Um, Show me the bag. See, I'm going to say the this. The pull and peel, maybe? Twizzlers? Nah. Red no? vine. Red vines Twizzlers. all the way. Do you want? No, you think the Twizzlers, Twizzlers belong on a list? Um, Twizzlers, you're literally just eating plastic. I, no, no, that's like here. colored wax. Yeah. My, my problem with Twizzlers and these Jolly Rancher... Things is like I don't ever remember getting them in a like it, for trick or treating. Wait, I'm, really? You didn't get the like rectangular shaped ones? I got the no. Twizzlers. Yeah. So let, let's take a look. Okay, maybe you don't. I mean, remember. let's just adventure while we're here, right? We're here. We're right? in the Grand Canyon. Let's look it's, at it. Oh my God! Those smell this bag. That smells like Halloween, <gasps> right? Holy shit! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Barrett, come it smell smells like bag. Twizzlers. It come smells smell like cho- like cherry Twizzlers. It's so oh, sweet. God damn! Great. I love being a kid. I love being a god. Okay, so here we go. That's the it's, ones I'm thinking of. It's been so long, too, for you. Twizzlers twists. I love the pull and peel, Nick. Is that oh, these are pull and peel. Oh, no, these are. I love pull and peel, because it reminds me of uh, Jurassic Park with the DNA. Dino DNA. Oh. Let me have one of those. They're not peeling apart. Nah, I don't think this is the They're problem. not doing a great job of peeling apart. Because I don't want to find another one of those things. Are they even pull and peel? <laughs> I don't think these are pull and peel, bro. I think these are just Twizzlers. They look like they can break apart, though. Oh, these are the twists, you're right. The, but there are pull and peel in the bag. Are there? And I demand a uh, recount. Those are terrible. Florida. Those are yeah, gone. Yeah, those are gross. But this I like them. Is this a pull and peel? Yeah, there we go. Here's a pull and peel. Because the pull and peel is just funner to play with. Do you remember when they made the sour ones? I don't know if they were Twister bland- branded, but they had the same like aesthetic in the bag. Yeah. Oh, the sour straws? Yeah, and those are good. I don't know if those pull- pulled and peeled, though. Let me see you pull and peel. Let Here, me see on. you pull and peel. To the left. To the left. Um, Here we on. go. Right now, I'm pulling and peeling. Ah, fucking bitch. Pull and peel. Hey, man, you beat me, dude. No, it's still terrible. Here you go. Here you go, Kevin. They're bad. I'm pulling and peeling too, Kevin. And you know what? Uh. I'm going to say this. For all you monsters out there that, that rank Twizzlers over Red Vines, keep watching the show. <laughs> That's good. But just know that we're a Red Vines family. But we are a Red Vines family here. No, I prefer Twizzlers. Well, now you're not a part of the family anymore. Do I even anymore. know you? Do I even know you? As a, as a production thing, you have to have red vines, right? Isn't that mm-hmm. cool? Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. That's my writer. I like those. I'd put those at number eight. Yeah, we're not going on. That's not going on no. at all. Hey, Joey. I'm also with Andy, and I'm Team Twizzlers. Thank oh, you, Joey. God. Thank you, Joey. It's plastic. They're terrible. Uh, oh, okay. Let's do this. This is going to be a fun one. M&M's. Ooh, yes. Now, we got plain M&M's and peanut, peanut M&M's. I'm not, I'm going to, unfortunately, not because I don't like them. <laughs> but 
I'm, I'm gonna take the peanut butter M&Ms out Ooh. of the ranking, just because as a child, these weren't a thing for me. Got it. It was always either the, the, the brown M&M package or the yellow M&M package, yeah. and I, I love. I didn't know that this was a vintage candy ranking. It's, 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 it is. Classic. It's classic, classic mm. candy ranking. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, uh, what do you wanna try first? You want the classic M&M or the peanut M&M? Get this shit out of the way first, and let's get to the good stuff. Yeah, so, so classic. I mean, listen. It's just the five of us in the studio right now. Joey just walked in. If we decide right now to not put the normal M&Ms on this list, I'll be okay with that because I know it's going to piss Greg off at some point down the line. When he finally want to just put peanut M&Ms on the list? I, I think we should just try it out. I think the news has to be spread, right? Call call uh, Tom all Rokoff. the news outlets. Yeah. Call call Barbara Streisand. Call Game Attack. Yep. Call Reset Era. Yeah. Call all those call news IGN. outlets and let them know that we are gonna taste the plain M&Ms. That way, when people see it's not on the list, it's even more offensive to those oh, okay. people that are fans of plain M&Ms. Okay. Cause I want them to be offended. Again, I'm not a, not a fan of the plain M&M. I just think when it comes to the plain M&M versus the peanut M&M, it's like not even a competition. Well, peanut, you get that like salty yep. crunch to it. Crunch. Get them out, let me try. Here's oh, the oh, thing, let me try. Andy, let me try. Andy. Let me, try. let me try, let me try. Did you ever get the mini M&Ms when you were trick or treating? Mm. They were cool. The, yeah, the, the tubes. Little, the they were, tube? They were a really cool, cool texture, yeah. I mean, Later they're fine. you use the tube for like quarters? Ugh, in. that's not fine. The thing I don't like about this is the bag looks like when chocolate gets too dried out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where it looks like it looks like you, you hold a chocolate bar, you're like, I don't think I should eat this anymore because it's like white around the corners. Oh, that's right. what this bag looks uh, yeah. like. You know what, though? No, they have an addictive quality. They to don't. No, they don't. Nah. Let me try this. Eat the peanut, dude. You will see salvation. Terminator salvation. Mm. No. Yeah. Yep. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Close. I apologize. It's not even close. <laughs> there you go. It's okay, Nick. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. Kevin, give me the one. I'm usually right about everything, guys. And I never doubt anyone in this office. Someone says something to me, I say, I trust you 100%. I'm not going to doubt that. I just doubted everyone, so I'd like to issue an apology. M&Ms are terrible. These are amazing. Where do these want to go on the list? Um, I I'm would gonna say number three. Yeah. Oh, me too. Wow. Insyntonia. Insyntonia. Mm-hmm. There you go. Insyntonia. Is that a word? I love the, I love the, uh, the peanut M&Ms as a number three. I'm going to say this. This is a really strong list. I mean, we, we, some would say that we are the arbiters of this. Like, we are. We definitely. are the voice that people look for. We are. Yeah. We're the voice of a new generation. Mm-hmm. Pepsi. Coke. All right. All right. Next candy. Uh, what do we got here? I'll tell you what, though. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Okay, so this is the other one where it's going to be controversial. This is the game changer. This is game changer because oh, we have man. the Twix, oh. we have the Three Musketeers, and we Ooh. have the only candy that he's afraid of. The only one that the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup could get taken down by, which in my opinion might be God tier, the Mini Snickers the bar. The Mini Snickers bar. Are you not even mentioning The Mini but well, Starbucks are good too, but they're not number one. You can't, I, but, you can't but here's the thing. eat 40 of them without your brain going blah and like turning First around of all, on itself. you can, and I have. Mm. Second of Makes all, a lot of sense. the Starbursts are fun because it's a gamble. You don't know what color you're gonna It's get. like a loot box category. I hate that about it. Though. I know, but that's fun. I hate it. It's the original loot box. You again. open it up and you're like, oh, pink again. Joey, let me take What? You don't like pink? pink? What are you? Pink is the best monster? one. Pink and red are the best. Uh, you like lemon, don't you? You I sick son of a bitch. Oh. No, God, Kevin. Man, it's just I'm fucking all about disgusting. Lemon. What is wrong you're with you? You're such a goddamn masochist. I'm not afraid of it either. Oh, you're gonna, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open all these Starbursts. You're gonna take all the lemons, you give me all the pinks. That sounds great. And then Joey can't have any more. Oh, the chat's freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here, you know what I'm talking about? Lemon, Joey. That's what he likes. Lemon is so good. So here's the thing. The lemon, have you had one lately? I mean, no, I haven't. And the again, lemon I, I are ate pretty my good. I think, I think the ranking for Starburst, Starburst goes pink, lemon, red, orange. All right, here's what we'll do. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Red's really good. Orange is great. Here's what we're going to do. No, no, no. Here's what we're going to do. Andy. We are going to go. We're Andy. I'm really worried about this bag, and I'll tell you why. When these bags have multiple different flavors, the flavors mix around, the scents mix around. I'm worried that we might get chocolate that kind of has a fruity taste, and we might get fruit That's that has a package. chocolatey vibe. That to is taste. that is the risk you run because here's what happens: all of those go into your bag anyway when you're a kid as a Halloween, and that's that's the risk you run when you're going around a neighborhood. Neighborhood. It's again, scary. if someone, if I again, if I went to someone's house and they just had the Starburst, yeah. I would be like, no. Or I'm shitting on your life. Like, I think kids need to worry about mixed candies 
more than like strangers it's on the true. streets. You Str know? Strangers, heroin, mixed candies in that order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's what we're gonna do with these, okay? We will put these on the list. We will consider these to be on the list if either Andy and I get a red one in here. Oh. If there's no red one in either of these packages, we are not gonna rank Starburst. Wow, whoa! This is exciting. All right, I'll go first. I wanted to keep playing. Keep playing, keep playing. I like keep it. playing. No, oh, but I, I had to do it. I, well, I go first, and then I'll oh, play. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Okay. First one's an orange. Oh, second one's a red. Okay, that was okay, not as... Okay, there we go. That was not as... There okay. we go. That's not bad. Throw the orange over here. What's that? What's that? You, you want the orange one, Kev? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this system. Oh, scares Look at that. I got double reds. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay, you know what, Starburst? You know where you're fucking... <laughs> on which side your bread is buttered. <laughs> right? Yeah, I get it to oh, me, man. man. I almost okay. got there, Kev. Yeah, Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, had, we've had so much candy today. I know. This is going to be the Mountain Dew Day where at the end you guys are going to be so wired. No, but my problem I'm already there. My problem with this is that we still have the rest yeah. of the show to do after this. <laughs> and the other time we were done crashed. after all the drinks. And it was fine. No, one of the reasons I like Starburst is because it's like when you feed a dog peanut butter. You know what I mean? And you can keep chewing. Mm -hmm. You can't rub Starburst on your balls though. That's the only problem. Damn it, these are good. Oh, yeah. that's Andy. You can, but if, if your balls are hot, it gets sticky. Mm. Oh, Nick. Manscaped.com. Mm -hmm. That's coming up. Oh, great. Man. Mm. Andy. Those are good. I like this. Oh, it's sour. Oh. I like it. Andy, I'm going to shock the world right now. I talked a lot of shit about Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks. You want to I think we should. Again? <laughs> <laughs> so many public apologies. <laughs> I'm never wrong, ladies and gentlemen, which is why this pains me to say these are actually really good. Yeah. Do we want to put these? I think this should be top five. For Fuck now. yeah. Fuck Do yeah, Do we want to bump the Kit Kats off and put these at five? Bump them. I, I would put these above Almond Joy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You're making a lot of sense. All right. I, I would. say take Heath I agree. off that list. No, hey, Kevin. I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna need the Heath, the Heath bar. I think you're gonna like well, the Heath throw bar. One at me. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, throw one at me. <laughs> I, I don't know that I've ever eaten a Heath bar. <laughs> I caught that one, Nick. I saw it. All right. Uh, Oh man. Oh right, we got the rest of this bag. Man, they're so good. All right, now, do, I mean, oh, all right. Oh fuck, you're right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> heats are great, wow. Kevin. Listen, there's two bars that just, I just, why? Why? Don't, okay. Nick, no. Nobody Number, likes the, them. This, the, okay. the Milky Way bar. And the Three Musketeer. Get I'm sorry, the Three Musketeer bar and the Milky Way bar. Both mm -hmm. are like, what, what is why? this? Why am I doing this? Here, here, here we go, Kevin. Uh, can I get the one? There's a rule of thirds, right? Uh -huh. There's Three Musketeers. Because why? What? Exactly. <laughs> Pizza Diplomacy Act. Yeah. Why would I eat a Three Musketeers when I can eat a Snickers? Because maybe you sometimes just want the nougat. It's no, too much we nougat. never nougat. do. No one no, wants nougat. Nobody nougat ever does just that. Throw that Three Musketeers my way. There you go. Nougat is just to throw the nuts, like to keep the nuts in stasis. Yeah. If you if you don't have nuts, there's nothing to keep in stasis. Yeah. It's like having a spaceship up there going toward Mars, nothing in it. Why do we keep these people alive on the ship, right? Because the whole time... It was really just, uh, it, the whole time it was really just Chris Pratt letting her out of the... Just skeezing on her. Yeah. It was creepy as fuck. I'm We're gonna saying, save this for last. I'm gonna, I'm just saying. We're gonna save it for last. Okay. You should try the Three Musketeers. No, I, I would rather not. I gotta say, we have to try one. Break it in half. Okay. Oh, God. What's up, Kev? Oh, it's just like the aftertaste of the heat bar is not good. Really? You're oh, crazy. crazy. I love it. Here, it's take a just, bite. All right. Damn it. Nick's about to apologize a fourth time. <laughs> Kevin, can I have the one, please? <laughs> never wrong. I'm never wrong. Okay. But you're, but it's not, you're not growing if you're not evolving. And I will say, that was a damn good bite of Three Musketeers Bar. And judging on Andy's face, the smile, he liked it too. No, I thought you were gonna do a, 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 a M. Night Shyamalan twist and be like, I'm never wrong, and I'm still not. And I would have agreed with you because I, that it's been smart. not good. It was good. No, I don't it think wasn't. it's top I'm tier. Gonna, I just love them. I'm gonna put it at 10. I would okay. put it, okay, put it at 10. I'm fine with it. If it's on the list, I'm cool. Yeah. That heat bar is way too high. There's, that, <laughs> the aftertaste, something funky about that. Here's the problem that Maybe I have. Spoiled heat Here's bar. the problem that I have with the Three Musketeers is that, like, 
I put it below the Tootsie Roll, obviously, and we put it below the Tootsie Roll. The Tootsie Roll, because of its harder texture, is funner to chew, and I feel like what? this is just too airy. I agree. I, agree. I feel like it's airy. too... It feels like there's so much space that doesn't too, need to be there. Yeah, right? Let's consolidate. Yeah. Efficiency. Next up. Oh, see, again, I love Ooh. these, but they fucked us. They gave us two lefts. Oh, no. Do you see that? Shit. I don't know if that's what gonna do we count do? against them. We're gonna eat them and rank them real high, because I love these little fuckers. Twix bars, top tier. Now, yeah, this is a top bars, three right here. Very, very weird, because the experience always different depending on the length of the bar. Yeah. yeah. If you get the full-size Twix bars, the two next to each other in the movie theater, it's almost too much. It's enough just to get your hands a little too uh, uh, gunky and, and, and uh, chocolatey. Oh, this one yeah. I like, because you don't even have to touch the chocolate. And any candy, I don't have to touch chocolate. It's like, it's perfect. Throw one of those my way in, in a second. Cause right, see, watch, look at that. That just looks yeah. hot. Smell and eat. Oh, yeah. Hands are clean. I can fucking oh do surgery God. right now. I mean, can't you do that with any other candy? Nope. It's only this one. Mm. Good stuff, man. It's a good cookie. It's a good wafer. Look into my mind. My mind is your mind. Your mind is my mind. Where am I putting this? Number two. Number two. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't agree I don't agree with number two. Number two. I, I was thinking more of like number number three or four. Your mind is my mind. Okay. <laughs> Spock. Spock the Kirk. Okay, Spock. Number two. Break number two. If the guitar sounds, it's number two. Oh fuck. Alright, number number four. How about number three? Okay. Alright. Alright, there you go. Who would please get rid of the Heath Three bar? Musketeers? Kevin the Heath Bar oh! said. Why? Why? What do I do with those? I'll just scroll down the list. I'll tell you why. Because Three Musketeers always just reminded me of like the lame version of Three Amigos. So you know Three I mean? Musketeers not even on the list. Nope, it got bumped off. Number three. Can I get one of them Twix? You want Do Twix have anymore? Yeah. yeah. I mean, throw one more over here if you got it. Ooh. Thank you. That <laughs> 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 was really just a <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, actually, I don't think there are any more. Did he think he... What? Did we get four? That's a bullshit bag. Oh, this is a fucking bullshit bag. Oh, there's one more down there. Ah, uh, fuck yeah. Here, let me get, so it. get it. Five is embarrassing. There's like six. Kevin, I can't even look at you right now. Do it. I can't even see do it. Do it, it, bro. I'll, I'll feel it out. Bro. Mind melt? If you feel it. Let me touch your face. I'm gonna close my eyes. Your face is my face. Your face okay. is my face. Why did ah. I. That was pretty close. Thanks. Man, I got a lot of candy. Way too much. Okay, so we gotta test these. It's on my guitar pick. There we go. Mucho. Bring your guitar. Wow, this one's an interesting one. This, well, I just had to get, this is the only bag that has Skittles in it. Got it. Man, I'm feeling kind of... You feel great. I feel warm and also like a lot of energy. Oh, vomit. Skittles? Skittles. I'm just saying right now. No? I'll try them. I don't even think they should be on the list. Skittles. Whatever, dude. Get out. Yeah, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. How did I go so straight? It got right in my head. Literally landed in my head. All right. What do you think? Way too oh man, really I will put this at number seven underneath Almond Joy. Let me see. Man, they're great, dude. No, you have to get multiples. Mm -hmm. Mix the tastes. No, I, I mean, you right. agree, right? You're right. I agree. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Well, those dots are getting dangerously close to being off the list, bro. Hey, man, it's a, it was an honor to even be in the top ten for them. That's true. So they, that's what they, the representatives told me. Oh, ew, these are Joey has a question. Um, did you get any? Wild berry Skittles, no. No. Did you no. get any Tootsie Pops? I did get Tootsie Pops. Did you get Do you want us to rate that next? Sugar Babies. Sugar Babies suck. I fucking love Sugar Those Babies. Those are awful. <gasps> I love these. It. No, I gotta rank it. Then you can have it after. You well, there's probably another one. No, nah, they're, they're in the bag. <laughs> you stole it from some kid on the way over here? <laughs> I just gaffled it from a kid. Actually, there might only be one in here. No, no, no I see, yeah, I see, I see a see red one, one down there. Here we go. Where do we want to put these? I mean, it's a weird amalgamation, right? The thing I don't like the about these is they take the too those. fucking long to Way eat. Too long. I just Halloween feel like they're long. not a great Halloween candy because they're a lollipop. My problem with it is that when I'm eating a Tootsie Pop, I would much rather have a Blow Pop. Because when I get to the center, I'd rather have a sweeter bubblegum thing than chocolate. And if I'm eating a, a, a berry kind of tasting thing and then I get to chocolate, it's like... But what about the chocolate? Yeah, what about the chocolate Tootsie Pop? These are the goat. It's just too much. It's like a too cake. Much. It's like a cake pop. Do you not want to put it on Andy, the list? Andy, here's the thing. You don't gotta spit it out, though. I wouldn't put it on the list. You know, you can my, swallow 
I have a problem with the blow pop is that the gum at the center is always Sucks. weird and it's not ever good and you always think it's better than it actually is. This is our ranking. Damn, They're off the list. I just wanted They're to off the pop. list. <laughs> They're off the go. list. There you go. All right. Uh, what's the next bag? Damn, I got a lot of bags. Now, I got this bag because it was the only one that had Milky Way in it, but do we care about Milky Way? No, boo, it's not. Fuck no. Anyone here care about the Milky I care Way? About li I care about living in it. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Damn. You know? Milky Way Galaxy. I heard that's Milk Mommy's favorite blue. candy, though. You know what? Milky Mommy. Done. The good thing about this is I have more Twix in here, though. So. Yeah. That's it right there. Milk oh, Mommy's favorite candy is milk, right? Why did I get so much candy? I gotta be milk. honest with you, I'm feeling terrible. Oh, right the Milk Duds yeah. and the Whoppers. Oh, yeah. shit. We gotta try them. Oh, yeah, I used to love Whoppers as a kid. I love Whoppers. But I Again, just, Whoppers are another, they're a movie candy, I but not to, a Halloween candy. I used I to like milk them duds. as a kid, and then I went milk to Milk Duds are a Halloween day. candy to me, yeah. Milk I love I love these little little triple Whoppers. Whoppers, I think, are an Easter candy, because you get the Robin's Egg ones. Controversial. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Christopher Robin. Weird. You've never had the, like, Robin's egg? No, I, at Easter, I exclusively Robin. eat Cadbury eggs and Cadbury mini eggs. And he eats a lot of them. I eat a lot of them. Mm, do we have to do this Me again for Easter? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I love the Whopper. Stop. Yeah, the Whopper's so gross. Stupid. That's the dumbest thing ever, dude. What's Get it the, out of here. What's the little candies that are, like, chalk? Oh, the sweet tarts? Smarties. 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 Smarties, I love Smarties. Uh, I don't My dad I got, loves Smarties. I don't think Smarties. I got any of them. Oh, there might be some in here. Shout out to dad. Love you. All right. These are the milk dust. Dude, Whoppers are a fucking classic. I Whoppers, Whoppers are garbage, dude. They're garbage. Oh my god, those milk are so no, hard though. No, I Whoppers are garbage. Fuck yeah. milk dust. I don't even want to try it, dude. Get out of here. You don't want to put the Whoppers or the milk dust on the list? No, god no. Get them, no. I love Whoppers though. As a kid, those are absolutely the candies that stay in the bag until fucking August, uh -huh. that following year. And then you eat it, and it's disappointing still. Yeah. I'm saying like number nine. I would think, yeah, they gotta go on the list somewhere. No, oh, man. What if I, okay, what if I, what I, would, I like, if you What wanted, if I took the rollers off and put the Whoppers on? Fuck, I, 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 I would prefer that, but I still just don't think they deserve to be on there. I think they're like gross. What if I took the Whoppers off and put the, put, put the Whoppers on and took the dots off? I wouldn't be happy with that. That's even I worse of a. I mean, okay. Whoppers are way better than dots, Whoppers right? Whoppers suck, no, yeah, dude. No, get out of here. Whoppers are so Whoppers. bad. Whoppers are I can't, it's, it's the only I, like. I really, I just can't let those dots be on this like list. Because it's me so either. Good. It's gross. It's salty, dude. Good. Malt, so good. Malt milkshakes are gross, and I'll I love I mean, milkshakes. I'll compromise. I'll, I'll take the roll. Disappointed off. in you. We'll do that. We'll put the Whoppers on with the roll though, because Andy's a monster. Change. Fill the rolls up. Now here's the thing. You guys forgot about this one. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It is. No one forgot about it. Ew. You forgot. let me get the one. There it is. Oh, no. Ew. Ew. I didn't have a suckle at it. Ew. No, I don't want to suckle on it. Let's put it in my pocket. Okay. I'll suckle on it a bit. What do you think? Oh, my God. Where do you want to put the Hershey bar? It tastes like thigh. <laughs> good thigh or bad thigh? Pretty good. Okay. Um, I wouldn't put it on the list. No? No. All right. Uh, that was not good. Let me see what else I got in here. Is there anything else? <laughs> Holy fuck, we're uh, 50 minutes into the show. <laughs> yeah, we really are. <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot this bag. We gotta do this bag real quick. Time goes by oh, when you, oh! Fuck, Butterfingers, oh, baby, baby Ruth, Ruth Crunch Bars. Crunch, dude. Like, here's, the, here's what I'm saying right now. Kevin, look at me. Look at, look fucking look at me right now. Okay, Kevin, look at me. This is the bag that I'm totally fine taking the dots out. I'm gonna take it off right now, right? I'll really, take, I'll really? take them off right now because I know either Baby Ruth or Butterfinger will be on this list somewhere. Man, I... Where will it be, ladies and gentlemen? We're gonna have to find out in a second. Whoa! Because this is for the first ever time. We're gonna take a little break to talk to you about our sponsors, the first of which is Manscaped. Support for KFAF comes from Manscaped, who is the number one in men's below the belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineering tools for your family jewels. Um, Halloween is right around the corner and you don't want to spook someone with your scary bush. I did not write this ad. Uh, you might be Chewbacca, Bigfoot, or a hairy bear, but it's what's under the costume that really matters. Uh, I mean, as an Italian-American, I've been manscaping since age seven, age eight. I got the back, I got the, I got the bottom part. I like to keep everything 
neat in down sintonia. there. But basically from here down, it's just it is it is it is it is precise. Up here it can be a little crazy. I like to scare him with the beard and just comfort him with what's going on ah. down on the couch. Uh, don't be the hairy guy. Manscaped is forever changing the grooming game with their Perfect Package 2.0. Inside the Perfect Package, you'll find their electric trimmer called the Lawnmower 2.0. This waterproof and skin-safe technology will protect you from nicking your pumpkins. You can also create less mess by trimming in the shower. Let me tell you, I've nicked them before, and it is, it'll wake you up in the morning. Oh so I'm glad they have this tool. Uh, and of course, let's not forget about the crop uh, preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisture moisturizer. You already put deodorant on your armpits. Why are you not putting deodorant on the smelliest part of your body? Hey, speak for yourself. There it is, thank you. Uh, the Perfect Package 2.0 also includes anti-chafing uh, performance boxer briefs that keep your package cool and smelling fresh all day. For on-the-go freshness, you'll love the Crop uh, Reviver, Ball Toner Spray, excuse me, the Crop Reviver. Um, it's time to get clean and mean with the Perfect Package 2.0. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MORNING at manscaped.com. Stay sexy this Halloween. Your balls will thank you. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code MORNING at manscaped.com. 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using the code MORNING. Uh, next up, escape the invasion. Ever wonder what you'd do if you found yourself in the middle of a post-apocalyptic world that has been ravished by a deadly virus infected by alien, inflicted by aliens? Look, looking for a unique date or game night that gets you off your device and truly interactive with each other? You've gotta check out this game called Escape the Invasion. It's all about immersive, uh, it's all about immersive experiences, and they just announced the launch of their new post-apocalyptic themed subscription box. If you're listening to this podcast, you, you probably have, uh, have wondered, would I survive the alien apocalypse? Uh, well, now you can find out. Uh, I probably would die very immediately. But Same here, yeah. I could train with Escape the Invasion. Uh, these are from the makers of Hunt a Killer, which Greg and Jen have played a lot, and they really, really, really like. Uh, they said it's a, it's a cool thing to play with your significant other, and they're very much looking forward to Escape the Invasion. Uh, here's the plot. You find a refugee in a government bunker, but uh, is it safer than the outside world? Oh, sorry. Yeah. But is it safer than the outside world? Can you trust your fellow survivors? You think you're safe now that you've uh, found refuge? But there is <laughs> a lot of backstabbing. You find refuge in a government banker. I thought it said you find a refugee. Oh. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you want, you, let me try that again. You find refuge in a government bunker. You but are is it a safer? refugee. Yeah, you are a refugee. There you go. Then the outside world. Can you trust your fellow survivors? You think you're safe now that you've found refuge. But... There is a council that creates and controls every aspect of life in the bunker. What will you choose, freedom or safety? With Escape the Invasion, you will receive a box of clues, physical items, and evidence each month. It's up to you to piece it all together, solve the mystery, and save humanity. Here's how you do it. Right now, just for our listeners, you can go to escapetheinvasion.com slash morning for 20% off your first box. That's escapetheinvasion.com slash morning for 20% off your first box. Escapetheinvasion.com slash morning. And that morning does not have the letter U in it. It is just morning. Yeah. Just just like FYI. it's morning, not like, like the correct oh, way to spell my it. My grandma died and I'm gonna yeah. mourn for a while. The Can you survive the alien apocalypse? Uh yeah, definitely. Uh, all right. Here's where we're gonna go. We gotta open Let's it. Let's go. We gotta get we gotta do it. Yeah. This is a long one, and I apologize for everyone that's uh that that's waiting for their Photoshop challenge. We might just have to punt that to next week because we got a few more bags to open. Yeah. Uh, and then I wanna get but to ask really? anything. More bags? Dude, it's Halloween candy. You said uh, you got four bags. Here's the thing. What the hell happened to the color of the butterfly? Ew, yeah, what's going on here? What the oh, shit know. is they, this? They took away Why so much. It? This Why? it used, to be, used to be like texture and shit. It looks like it, it looks like the wrappers went through the printer and one of the cartridges is low. <laughs> Kevin got this one. Cut to my one, Kevin. Look at that. <laughs> He threw, I, it so, he threw it so perfectly. It's so perfect. Right. <laughs> I was trying to look up Butterfinger. <laughs> All right. Yeah, these definitely look like something went wrong with the wrapper. Yeah, I think they got a miscolored one on here. Because it's supposed to be the color of the orange inside. My problem with the Butterfinger is that they... I think this is the new packaging. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't like that at all. So I'm gonna pull up what the there. fuck? What yeah, the they, fuck? there was a lot more orange. It was like similar, not this orange. Well, it was the orange of the 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 stuff inside. Yeah, the the, the, the wafer or whatever. Let's like try this. it. I don't like this one. Um, my problem with the Butterfinger, straight off the bat, it breaks apart so easily oh, when you whoa. open it up. Mm. I feel like one bite and it's like. It's um, done. Yeah. It's like eating a. Uh, it, it's like having a burrito that isn't wrapped properly and it's just breaking apart in front of you. You know. No, dude. You're. S I mean, uh, yes, you're right. But those are all advantages. It makes it easier to eat. Mm -mm. And also, Bart Simpson likes the Butterfingers. He and that does. Was, that was cool for me. That campaign really worked. He makes, he makes people eat their shorts. Don't eat 
Don't forget about the Snickers over there. Oh, I won't, buddy. Okay. Um, Chad, Chad was losing it. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh, that was pretty tasty. That was fucking great. I would put this... Take the Whopper out. I would put this at number seven above uh, Skittles. Underneath Almond Joy. You agree, right? I agree. Man, we're on the same page right now. We are on the same page. But also, we just, you know, we're going just real long. <laughs> I don't mind it, man. You know what? This is our show. We make the rules. Yeah. As long as the sponsors are happy, we're happy to. Let's go with the Crunch Bar next. We're, I, a, we're an award-winning show. I love That's these. That's not true. We, we give ourselves an award. We give ourselves an award. I don't know if you guys saw that. We're going to save it for next week, Kev. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Um, kind of bullshit, but it's, it is what it is. Um, all right, let's... Uh, I do enjoy a Crunch Bar, Nick. I feel now, like see, but here's the problem. This is the one I'm talking about. See how the, the chocolate on the corners is aerated? And it's got that weird white feeling to it? I really think that affects the taste of it. They, they say that it, it's bloomed. The chocolate is bloomed. Oh, is that like it's ripe? Yeah. It's ripened? Yeah. Did not affect the taste. These are great. Very tasty. These are so good. I would put this... I'll put it number 10. Actually, I'll move the Kit Kat down and put it in the Yeah, I'll, you know what? Same here. Does that sound good? So the Crunch Bar is so for our audio listeners, because we know we have a lot of audio listeners that prefer just to hear us eating stuff. Um, oh, number yes. One, we have, uh, number one through ten in order. Reese's, Heath, Twix, Peanut M&M's, Starburst, Almond Joy, Butterfinger, Skittles, Nestle Crunch, and Kit Kat. One through ten. Now, I used to hate these. But for some reason, I turned a corner when they I was around 11 boat. or 12. Same boat as you, man. And the Baby Ruth is all about it. unbelievably good. Now, here's why I like the Baby Ruth. It is the, um, the Milky Way with substance. Well, yeah. The Milky Way is just useless. Totally agree. But this has substance because it's got the nuts in it. The Baby Ruth to me is, uh, is, the Baby Ruth to me is similar to King of the Hill. Where, okay. I hated King of the Hill as a sure. kid. Still do. I was stupid. I was a fucking dumb kid. Oh, I can't great. And then I grew up, and, and my tastes evolved. Right, my palate grew. And uh, and I, I appreciate Baby Ruth I now. Mm. This is not the candy I thought it was. Mm. Baby Ruth reminds me of baseball. I being don't on, hate it though. Being on a baseball field. Wow, oh, just peanuts. I used to eat Baby Ruths in the outfield when I was playing. These peanuts are intense. They're good. Yeah, they're, they're it's right. like a payday bar, but like less payday. -y. That's what I was thinking. Nothing like. I, don't I looked them. for them. They didn't have them. This is good though. This is good. Where do we want to put it? I would put this above the Crunch Bar at number nine. Yeah. Because I can't see knocking off the Skittles with this. But then we're going to knock off the Kit Kat. That's going to piss people off. Fuck Kit Kat. Who cares, dude? Exactly. You see a toss right there? It's on the camera. Number nine. Baby Ruth. All right. Um, let's put this back, I think. Ooh, weird aftertaste. Let's see if we want to do anything out of this bag. Now, here we go. God, I want to vomit. Nerds. Oh, my God. Oh, I love nerds. Nerds, nerds are so good. And Laffy Taffy. Oh, Laffy Taffy with the jokes. See, I never liked Laffy Taffy, so we're just going to try the nerds. Uh, oh, wait. Well, dude. There's also sweet tarts in here. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's only strawberry Laffy Taffy, because if there was banana Laffy Taffy, I love banana yeah, Laffy I Taffy. I hate that. Are you kidding me? Blah. Banana Laffy Taffy are so no, good. No, this is me This is me throwing up into my own butt so it comes right circularly. Oh, wow. Circle of life. Circle Why of life. Because I hoop it. Hoop it. <laughs> you can't breathe in through your asshole, Kevin? Yeah. That's how you do it when you're underwater. You breathe in through your butt and it, your, your brain, your body filters oh, the water out. No. Mm hmm Oh, now you, here's why I like nerds. Ready? Shake, 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 a rock gun, shake it all the time. Work, 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 get on the I'm a candy. <laughs> um, my, 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 I love nerds. Yeah. But the Laffy Taffy, again, no banana, no green apple. Green apple Laffy Taffy is god tier. Are you, yeah, it is. Okay, good. I thought you were saying it was bad. No. Oh, you know, like this, we have strawberry Kevin, you know me. Laffy I love taffy. everything green. We have strawberry good. Laffy Taffy. But I don't want to try it. Boo! Have looking at this and looking at this list, I can't see that any of these are going to dethrone any of these. I think that nerds w will dethrone uh, Nestle Crunch at number nine. You think so? I think I so. I what, believe so. Nerds, which, which color nerds? Uh, purple. You got to mix them up, man. No, purple. Go with purple. 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 I'm kind of with Kevin. Let's purple. go with purple. There you go. I'm gonna try a Laffy Taffy real quick, Kev. I'm not. That's not how you eat them. That's not how you eat them. You're licking a pink thing right here. That's not how you eat them. Um, you gotta put it in your pocket and make it soft. Yeah, it's good, but yeah. No. It's good. Did I'll say that. The, can we read the joke on it? Okay, let me. Because the joke is good. I feel like it's. Let me reach back into the trash. You wanna hear something crazy? 
I had no idea that's why they were called Laffy Taffy. I didn't know they had jokes on them. Because I never put it, I tried one when I was a kid, was like, I'm done, I don't want this shit ever again. Kevin, there's no joke. There's always a joke. Oh, why did the skier bring wipes? Because he wiped out. What tunes do cows enjoy? Oh no, that's it's another two that's it's another it's two jokes. It's underneath, so it's, you have to lift the little flap. Oh, got it. You gotta look on the back of the taffy, it's right there. What? No, he's joking. Oh, you licked it off. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. You lift Got it. it, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Here, I got I gotcha. Why did the skier bring wipes? Music. That was the answer for the other one. Okay. Okay. Why did the skier bring wipes? Because he didn't want to wipe out. I mean, I just, that was dumb. That was fucking stupid. Music was the question to the answer to the cow one. Now here's what you do here. Eat the box. Eat the box. Yeah. That's how you properly do it. Yes. Huh? Snort it. Yes. Get those nerds in your mouth. No, stop. Oh, come on. Look like, like here we are. Oh my god. Too much? It's a lot. I hate this. I hate this so much. You just... Oh, that looks like good. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Nerds are above Baby Ruth, dude. For sure. But I don't, like, want the nerd. Yeah, you If do. you said, Nick, you, want, you put Crunch Bars in front of me, you're nerds, I go Crunch. But here's I, the thing. If you're opening your little Lego box where you store all your candies... You, you I'm with you. Nerds, I'm with you. You see the nerds, uh -huh. or you see the fucking I don't know, whatever. Baby, this is above Baby Ruth for sure. This is above sure. Skittles, man. No, shut up. You sound stupid. Right this now. is above Baby no. Ruth, dude. Let's. What did I do with them? Where'd they go? Somewhere yeah, in my hand. God, I love them. All right, let's put them above. No, I'm not putting them above Skittles. You guys are gonna your fucking yeah. gore. No, over Baby Ruth. They're going over Baby Ruth. Yeah. We're knocking. We're knocking the crunch bars off. Crunch. Of see if at lunch. All right. You want to try that again, or you want to do another second take on that one? Of, I couldn't think of a rhyme. Crunch. Lunch. Br brunch. You just got crunch. munched. No, that was worse. Crunch. There's a bunch of other candies above you. Yeah, that was good. That was okay. good. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are down to the last candy, everyone. Ooh, I, I see the chat. People are saying, Nick, don't forget about Snickers. I, come on. I'm a professional here. Yeah. Did I almost forget about the fucking chocolate that was in my pocket? Yeah. <laughs> did, that, did I let that go? the joke go on like five more minutes longer than it needed to? And it was like soupy when it came out? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't forget about these. When the shit that's really important to me, I never forget about. We don't forget about Snickers. Snickers. We don't the forget about 9-11. Snickers. Here you go. Now, I know we're going to get all that shit if we're not trying the Milky Way bars, but I'm just saying, why would I eat a Milky Way bar when I can have a Snickers bar? That's Milky all Way. I'm saying. Get out of here. I feel like now, Andy, I, where's your prediction before we eat these? Because I'm thinking it's going to be top three. I think, I agree with you, it might even be top two for me. Okay. Yeah. Number one, dude. Why even beat around the bush, right, Kev? Why beat around the bush? Oh, baby. Man. <laughs> looks oh, good. baby. It looks like you guys are enjoying it. Oh, baby. It's perfect. It's like a perfect candy bar. Number one. No, this is one. this is number one for me. Oh, uh, I think you would need to try the Reese's peanut butter cup afterward. <laughs> I can't. You can't say this is number one if you haven't put one of these in your mouth. In a but while. I might vomit. What? That bonus, right? <laughs> Get it all out. <laughs> <laughs> Clear the room. Here's my here's my real problem with the Reese's pieces. The Reese's peanut butter cup. Or pe peanut butter cup. Reese's pieces. Fuck you. The no little, one wants Reese's pieces. The on little list. paper that comes in there always looks really oily and grosses me out. Me too. These it's don't really have gross. paper, don't they? No, he was talking about the little thing that wraps it, and he's right. Oh. Um, it's nasty. Because I noticed that yesterday. <laughs> like sweaty. Like somebody sweaty had already handled them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. We're going to do, do, do the Reese's off. Oh, gosh. Reese's versus Snickers, top 10. Who would have thought? It. That's top, it. top two, top one. Let's take a bite. No, you're doing it wrong. You got to do this. Ready? Watch. This is how you eat it. All of it, and that's too much. It goes on the roof of, roof of your mouth. Come on, over the Snickers? Don't, don't be crazy. The Snickers is so good. So much better. No. Whoa. So much better. Then a Snickers? You're crazy. Dude, you are insane. The Reese's is the best. No, Snickers is winning. Snickers is very, very good. But the Reese's just has that addictive quality to it. Snick now, I know, remember, uh, my mind to your mind. My mind to your mind. Yeah. Calling in my chit. Okay. I'm calling it my favorite. Remember when I fucking had your back against Kevin? Mm. When we did the Heath part number two? Okay. Daddy needs to put the Snickers at number two. Mm. My mind, your mind. Get rid of the Heath bar. Right. But you also didn't trust me on Heath, and then you believed me. But I feel like you should eat so this shouldn't, again. shouldn't you? I just did. 
And I had one last Wait, night. Wait, what was that you said, Kevin? Take the Heath bar out and put the Snickers in number two? No, what? No. Was that what you said? No, you're just doing this to spite me now. Is that what you said, Kevin? <laughs> you're doing This is the Cool Ranch Dorito thing all over again. <laughs> is that what you want, Kevin? What's that? <laughs> this is the Cool Ranch Doritos thing all over again. Let's, we're democratic here, until unless it's something I don't like. I I'll tell you what, flip a Reese's. Flip a coin. Flip a coin? Yeah. All Reese's, right. Reese's. All right, uh, all right. no, I, that's smart. So if it's heads up, Reese's number one. Uh, heads down? Tails down, Snickers number two. No, 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 you flipped it. No, you flipped it around. I what? didn't agree to that. Heads up, Reese's number one. Face down, Snickers number one. Do it on the table, Deal. please. I'm trying to do it on the table. Yeah! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> this is Snickers oh, reigns shit. supreme, baby. Just take the heat part <laughs> out, you know what I mean? Let's move them all in, let's move them all Kevin, in. Kevin, play the, the intro again, man. Did you know it's almost Halloween? In a couple of weeks, it'll be Halloween. Candy. You want to harmonize? Rank candy. Whoa. Whoa. Careful. Oh, Careful. dodge him. <laughs> Did you notice that I didn't even put jack o' lanterns? I just put two pumpkins. Yeah, I love that. Why bother? <laughs> I didn't notice that. Uh, <laughs> also, it cuts to black. That's weird. Oh, weird. It doesn't matter. Your My final bad. ranking, ladies and gentlemen Snickers, Bite Size Snickers, number one. Uh, number two, much, very fucking begrudgingly. And with, I will be, I will be. <laughs> I will be lobbying, I will be uh, giving, what do they fucking call it? An like appeal. Recounts? No. You're, oh, appealing, yeah. I will be rendering a fucking, uh, I will tell people that I'm pissed yeah. about this. Number okay. two, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Number three, the Heath Bar, which Protest. is a surprise. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put an official complaint gotcha. in with the, uh, the candy no, office. Court. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Because this is bullshit right here, and everyone knows that I got screwed on this one. There's sometimes, fucking, this is the San Francisco screw job right here. There's sometimes during up. baseball games fucked where up. like, if, if, uh, if an umpire gets a car wrong, the other team can be like, we're playing the rest of this game under protest. Yeah. And like, we want this reviewed by the officials. Yeah. You know? but, I'm, playing this, I'm playing the rest of this episode under protest. Okay. Gotcha. That's what I'm doing. Heath Bar, surprisingly number three. Yeah, it's good. And this is going to be the one that everyone has a problem with, because this is like a weird generic the ass uh, thing. The aftertaste fucking weird. Mm -mm. Twix, number four, way too low on the list. Way too low. Uh, number five is the uh, peanut butter M M&M, and M or peanut M M&M. and M. I think that's M &M. I think that's a good spot for that. Mm -hmm. Number six, Starburst, surprisingly. Whoa. Love it. Number seven, Almond Joy. Too high. All right. Almond Joy, fantastic. So good. So good. Number eight, despite the weird jaundiced packaging, it's so jaundiced. Is the Butterfinger. Number nine, Skittles, and rounding out the top ten list, weirdly. Nerds. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know in the comments below if you forgot any of your favorite candies or if you really, really like Milky Ways and we're still not going to eat them because they're terrible. I yeah. begrudgingly ate one of those three Musketeer bars and I surprised myself. You know what? They, you know what? The that was pretty good. The yellow on this reminds me of um, like a, a lemon pie. Like a, like a key lime like pie? It. Like a lemon meringue or something like yeah. that. It's, like it's a weird shade it, of yellow. No, it just looks like mustard. It looks like uh It needs to be this color. Mustard. Yeah. It needs to be this color. It needs to be orange. It used to be orange. Yeah, it used to be more orange. You know what I mean? And it used to have texture on it. Yeah. All right. We're getting a little long in the tooth here, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to punt the Photoshop challenge to next week. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, but we will do a little Ask Andy Anything. Ask Andy. Pedro Venegas says, hey Andy, I hey, just Pedro. started my first job soon, and I'm wondering, uh, how do you get along with your coworkers? Hmm. How much do you love us? Tell me how much you love us. Uh, great time, tell me how much it's a great time. Uh, yeah, it's always fun. It's always, lunches, lunches. It's always fun. Um, love hanging out with Joey and Cool Greg. You hear that, Kev? No, I, I, I get it. Front room you hear that, is, Kev? I get it. Front room is uh, really fun, Andy. You know, Eric, Joe, you know Joe, Joey and Kevin, or you know, Joey and Cool Greg. Okay, Super cool. Super cool. Hear that, Greg? Yeah. Okay. I guess the front room isn't that Next fun. time you know, next time we cook a pizza, maybe we'll just have to eat it all before you get a slice. Um, yeah, that's what usually happens, though, to be honest. Are we, uh, we're going to play Warboat? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're an hour and eight into this. We'll play Warboat next yeah, week. Yeah, we, we do have other stuff to do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mitch Krasen says, uh, what is the worst kind of exercise, Andy? The worst type of exercise. Oh, uh, so like the worst for you or the most annoying to do? Because I he just says the worst. I would say like my least favorite are um, are fucking uh, these squats. These things. Hold. No, no, no. These things. Let me let me. These okay. things. Squats. Chairs. Like when you're against the wall. Yeah, those are hard. We used to do that in baseball all the time, 
and like we would have to sit there and our and our uh, the, the the senior in school, uh, John Perez. He was like a super super good baseball player pitcher. He would he would be the one coaching us, and he'd be like, all right, we got 30 more seconds, and we'd be there, like, and our legs are shaking and shit, and yeah, like dude, I it's got all about, shit out of my pants, and it was it's terrible. all about building that leg strength. Did you say you shit your pants? You gotta be careful because you you can. Uh, Shit your pants. Yeah, yeah. Well, your your butthole will invert and come out. You gotta oh, poke it back with no, a stick. That's, yeah. That's not true. Last question comes from Good Game Grizz. It says, <laughs> is there a shower in the KF office? If so, do you ever feel the need uh, to have a shower after hearing some of the nasty stuff Nick says? Constantly. There's a hose. Yeah. There's a there's a little manguera out by the back that sometimes we wash ourselves off with, and then when we feel dirty, we use the Manscaped ball wipes all over our bodies. There you go. The Reviver on your balls. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been your episode of KFAF today. Uh, if you guys want to be a part of the show, remember, go over to patreon.com slash kind of funny, back us at the bronze tier or above, and you can suggest uh, topics that we can do for the later on the show, uh, bits we can do. Uh, you can ask Andy anything, uh, and you can submit Photoshop challenges. Well, next week we don't have, we've already got those, but you can always submit your Photoshop challenges at kind of funny vids on Twitter uh, with the hashtag KFAF. Leave a comment in the comments below. Let us know what you think of this list. Ah. Until next week, I've been Nick. I've been Andy. You've just been AF'd. What the fuck was that? I don't know, it's scary. Haunted. <laughs> <laughs>